Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Angel here, I'm so glad that you all took the time out of your day to come and watch my video. I wanted to make a makeup video, so here we have it. I made my first Valentine's Day tutorial. Obviously, this is the finished look. Hey! So yeah, I really enjoyed making this look for you guys, and I hope that you all enjoy it just as much. So with that being said, I'll go ahead and get right into it. Thanks! Whew! What in the world? Is it just me? But look at this redness, you guys. This is unacceptable. And I really don't think it's because I'm anxious about filming this video because I'm pretty, like, not camera shy. It's fine. Whatever. We're just going to go with it. All right. Well, let's hop right into it. First makeup video. So excited. So, obviously, this is going to be a Valentine's makeup. And what I'm really going to kind of aim for in this look is just kind of something more bold. Obviously, a bold lip because am I even me without a red lip? No, didn't think so. Anyway, so yeah, I'll do that. Probably keep it a little bit more soft around the eyes, like a pink or something with some blush tones. And uh, yeah, we'll see where it goes. It's probably just gonna be a classic look. Anyways, all right, so first things first, let's go ahead and apply some moisturizer to our skin. I'm gonna be using the Clinique, what is this? Clinique Moisture Surge, 72 hour replenish. My cat will not stop meowing. Wow, love this product. It really just makes your skin feels super, super moisturized. So yeah, I love it. If you guys hear anything, it's definitely my cats. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna go ahead and warn you. All right, now that we did that, secondly, we're going to go in with some primer. So I'm gonna start off with the Angel Veil. You gonna focus? Anyways, yeah. The Angel Veil by NYX. So I also am going to try the e.l.f. primer pretty soon. I'm excited about it. I hear great things that it's like the dupe for the Tatcha one. So we'll see how it goes, you know what I mean? So yeah. And also, so this one is oil free, which I feel like is very important. Personally, my skin isn't super oily. It's pretty like regular. I wouldn't say necessarily on the dry side or anything, but if you do have oily skin, get it, girl. This is going to be the one for you. So, yeah, plus it's super inexpensive, which is always a plus, right? All right. Now that we've got that step done, let's move on to foundation. All right. So, here's the tea. I have very, very pale skin, right? Obviously. But um, with that being said, I have to mix my foundations right now because it's like we're in between the two, you know, the two seasons. Obviously, it's still winter, but anyways, you get what I'm saying. So, kind of transitioning. So, first, I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Born This Way. This is going to be in the shade Almond, which it's not like too terribly dark for me. It's just like a little bit, you know what I mean? So, and then after that, I'm also going to go in with the Marc Jacobs one. Let's see, what shade is this? This is gonna be in Remarkable. Oh, just kidding, sorry. No, it's an ivory, actually. So yeah, I have very pale, you know, ivory skin, literally. Um, but I find that both of these foundations work very well for me. The consistency is super good, although I will say I don't absolutely adore the Marc, of J the Marc Jacobs one. The finish that it gives me just isn't exactly what I want, so that's kind of why I mix them. Plus, it's lighter, so everybody wins, you know what I mean? Alright, and then this brush, what even is this brush? Honestly, I think this is just like an it brush from Ulta or something, so whatever, yeah. I just kind of go in like this, you guys, like there's really no way to do this. So yeah, let's cover up all this redness. Y'all know what to do, just blend it in. And I always try to go up with my um, brush strokes just because I feel as though it's kind of heavy in it. Like, I don't know. I feel like it's going to give me wrinkles if I go down. So, yeah, that's just a personal trick. Always go up with the strokes. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but this brush is like the flat, like, top brush. <sighs> Works wonders. I find. Let me go ahead and blend in this forehead. I tried to get a hairband. Or a headband, I should say. To hold all this hair back. Alright. Make sure it's all blended. I 
All right, I think that is sufficient. All right, and then so from here, we're going to move on to powder. And so for powder, I told you guys that I was super red. Obviously you saw it. That was just like a little bit extra. I don't know what that was about. So yeah, so now I'm going to go in with the Redness Solutions by, well, you can't see that, but anyways, it's by Clinique, so if that matters. And then this is just a pretty regular shade. All right, and then I just, I'm gonna go in with like this brush right here. I think it's a good one. Just kind of like a big fluffy brush. You can use whatever you want for your powder, girl. Just go in and really tap it underneath there. Make sure you apply all of the coverage accordingly. Alright, I believe that is sufficient. Okay. Alright, next, continuing, we're going to go in. Really, I always do my highlighter first, and I don't know why. It's just what I do. Okay, just leave me alone. I know you're probably supposed to, you know, do your whole bronzer thing first, but that's just not how I roll around here. Oh, you guys, I forgot on a step. Goodness. Also, so these lips, after I put on my foundation, you know, your lips are going to get kind of like this. I don't know. It just looks pasty, really. So I'm going to go in with my best damn. <laughs> this is really not focusing, but my best damn beauty mask. Pardon the French. That's literally what it's called, though, you guys. Um, this little guy will make your lips so hydrated, let me tell you. So, yeah, I just kind of get it on my nail. And, uh, do that number. So, essentially, it's just, like, a really thick chapstick. But, yeah. I love it, personally. Let me get something to wipe this off my hands. All right. Where were we? back to um yeah highlight so i'm gonna go in with the glow kit by anastasia and then i honestly i mix most of the shades so except for the darkest one i should say so i'm gonna go in with the shade sunburst bubbly and dripping in gold just kind of swirl my brush around in them and um Yeah, so I'm gonna go in with that, and then I'll just take a fan brush. I think this one's by It, too. I really just love the It brushes. Super good. And then do a little bit on your nose, the tip of your nose, to be just kind of shiny. And then also, this is up to you if you want to or not, but I always kind of go in and just do, like, my um, Cupid's bow. Just a little bit. Make it extra shiny, right? Then of course, hit it with those cheekbones. Yes, girl. Okay, then go underneath the brow bone. Let's give it that extra definition. Okay, yes, living for the glow, living for it. Same thing on this side, everybody. So yeah, that's how I always do my highlight. And I do like to be beaming, so I put on a lot. <laughs> okay. Let's see what's next. All right, and then I'm going to go in with my bronzer. So this is just a Hoola Beauty one. I've had this thing forever and I literally just hit pan on it. So it works, I find. All right, and then I'm gonna go and then just tap off all the excess. This is what I do because obviously you don't want all that fallout on your brush. All right, ready? <laughs> That face is so funny, but yeah, so you're literally just gonna make like a little fishy face to make it look, you know, obviously to where you can see your cheekbones. <laughs> and starting from right here, bring it all the way up. That way you can really just work that contour, girl. All right, and then also, since I do have this little butt chin of mine, <laughs> bless it. Ugh, I've really learned how to deal with it, but I used to be insecure about it, but now it's fine. Anyway, so I always contour that. Then I'll bring it underneath because nobody wants that double chin, you know what I mean? All right, and then lastly, I got a big forehead, okay? I already know. So also going to go in and contour that forehead. 
And you know, contouring is just supposed to, the darker one is supposed to make it look smaller. So obviously whenever you use your bronzer, you're gonna wanna do like your forehead, your cheeks to make your cheekbones look more high, I guess you could say. So yeah, it really just makes them go in like that. Yeah. Yay, we did it. All right, let's see, what is next? I think that we are moving on to the eyes now, you guys, yay. All right, well, with that, I will go ahead and um, hop right on into the eyebrows. Let's do that first. Let me find my eyebrow brush. Well, uh-oh, messing everything up. There it is. So my eyebrow brush has this little spoolie on it. I think I got this with the Anastasia kit. So yeah, I'm just gonna go in and um, brush out my brows. Know what I mean? You know what I mean. All right, now that we are nice and tamed. So as far as brows go, let me tell y'all, Anastasia all the way. I'm definitely about that trend. Um, and I do draw on my brows. Obviously though, you can see like, I really do have natural brows. I just feel like it makes them look more full. Like they're really there, it accentuates them, which is the whole point of makeup. Like we can be beautiful without it, but it feels better with it for sure. It's a way to express yourself, creativity, all that. Anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna first go in with the dip brow and this is in the shade soft brown. So this is the dip brow pomade. And so here's the trick for this one. Um, before I do this, let me explain. So I also have the soft brown brow powder and I'll use the powder up here. That way it's not so intense. And then I'll use the pomade towards the end of my eyebrows. That way it's more, you know, more dark. So yeah, I'm just gonna go in. Start drawing these bad boys on. I'm gonna look in this mirror above here, you guys, because honestly, I can't see into my phone. I'm not fixing a lot of you. Okay, and honestly though, I always just start from the very top and connect it downward. And then I'll go above here and the little stray lashes that I have, I just really go over above the top of it to give it that complete effect. And then I will also start from the very underneath. And just do it like that. Yep. So fun fact, <laughs> I actually like shaved off like a little bit of this eyebrow, but I think it's grown back. You can't really tell it's super bad, I'm hoping. But it's fun. All right, and we're gonna go in and draw the tail of that. Like I said, just find whatever, you know, shape brow that you have. Don't get crazy with it, okay? So yeah, you guys tell me what your plans are for Valentine's Day. I don't really think that I have any yet, but I'm sure me and my boyfriend will find something to do. So it'll be fun. Let's see. You know, Valentine's Day, I always, well, I don't want to say I was one of those people that was like bitter. But I mean, obviously, whenever you don't have a significant other, it is kind of like <laughs> one of those holidays. It's like, why does this have to happen? Also, you guys, if you want to, to make it look longer, you can just draw this out a little bit more. See? Let me go back over here. Yep. All right. Here we go. Then I'm gonna go back in with the powder and just go towards the very beginning of it. And this one has two shades. Usually I'll do this one for the tail of it and then the other one for the beginning. Uh-oh.
All right. Now we got these brows on. Good deal. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. My eyebrows are so crooked. I don't know if you've ever been able to tell, but they are. And I just, I don't know what to do with it. But, you know, sometimes I feel like God just knew that I would be way too powerful if I had a perfectly symmetrical face. And uh, that's why he made me like this. So I'm just going to embrace it. All right. And then as far as eyeshadow goes, like I said, I don't want to do anything like too dramatic. Who am I kidding? I'm the most dramatic person I know. Anyway, so first and foremost, I'm going to go in... This is the Estee Lauder palette. I'm not really sure. This is just like one of those little ones. It says pure color in the, I don't know, provocative petal is what it says, okay? Like, I just really don't know. Anyways, so I want to go ahead and just start to really get a color into the um, crease, like a seamless. So I'm going to go, let me take this off. Oh, I don't know if y'all are gonna be able to see these colors, but I'm gonna be using these two right here. So I'm going to go in with that first lightest shade. I'm just going to apply that all over the crease. The crease and the um the lid, I should say. I'm sorry. Uh-oh, I forgot to prime my eyes, but it's okay. Regularly, I would prime my eyes if I was like actually going out on Valentine's Day, but like it's not that big of a deal, you know what I mean? All right, and then I'm gonna go back in with that lighter pink color and just apply that to the actual crease. Just to kind of create like a little bit of depth illusion. Okay. Now, I'm gonna go in with the, this is the Naked 3 palette. I think this is, actually this looks like the Naked one. I'm not sure, to be honest with you. All right, and then we're going to go in with the color. Let's see what color do I want to use. I think we're going to go in with the color Sin. And we're just going to go ahead and put that all over the lid. Oh yeah, that's pretty. So yeah, I think I was going to go and aim for more of the nice rosy color on that perfect and then also just because i am feeling a little you know a little bit adventurous i'm gonna go in with virgin and put that right above here underneath my brow bone just give it that little extra pop uh-oh look at that fallout girlfriend are we okay so I'm just gonna go and sweep this out from underneath there. And blend it all in. All right, so yeah, like I said, we're gonna go back in with Virgin, back in to my crease line with Toasted, and then I'm also gonna mix Toasted with Smog. Okay. Wait a minute, we gotta go back because I forgot to do blush. So now we're going to go in with the Tarte. This is going to be in the shade Feisty. Get a little bit of this right here. Okay. I'm going to do these nice little apple cheeks so that we can see where they are. Now for mascara, I'm going to go in with the Voluminous Lash Paradise. And honestly, guys, don't feel like you have to spend an obscene amount of money on mascara because that's just not the case. So for the final lipstick, I'm going to go in with this Smashbox. This is going to be in the shade Disorderly. Super good. I love it. Absolutely flipping love it. All right. Usually I would line my lips, but I'm not going to lie. I can't find my lip liner. Also, I love this applicator tip because do you see that shape? It makes it perfect, perfect, <laughs> words are hard, for drawing on this little cupid's bow. Obviously, I do overline my lips a good bit. Um, not too much though. I try not to go crazy. No Kylie Jenner stuff today, so. But yeah, so we're just going to go in. 
All right, now that we have nice and full lips, this is going to conclude our Valentine's Day look. All right, folks, well, that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching yet again. I do appreciate all of the support. Y'all continue to like and subscribe to my channel, and I will have more content available for you soon. I hope that y'all found some of these skills and techniques useful and that you can apply them to your date night out, Valentine's Day, all of that. And I hope that you all have a great Valentine's Day and receive all the love that you deserve.